Stocks are in the red, and we will find out why. Jonathan Corpina joins me on the floor today. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you for joining me. We are in red today. Could it be some worries about the Fed? Uh, you know, I think so. In this quiet summer sessions that we're having here, uh, you know, we struggle to look at headlines to see what is going to be market moving. And I think right now, coming into this week, the thing that we had on our calendar, knowing what was going to be approaching us, is the Fed chairman speaking uh, for two days this week in his semi-annual uh, press conference. And, and uh, uh, his comments are clearly going to be focused on by us and by, by many different people. We continually talk about interest rates. We continually talk about you know the Fed's what the Fed is going to do and how they're going to do it. Um, so I, hopefully we'll get a little bit of insight later on this week as to what the thought down in Washington is. CapEx indicators have shown that business investing within businesses has been slowing. Any reason behind that? Uh, you know, I think there's just so much uncertainty as to what's going to happen. I mean, we clearly do know that companies have stockpiled a lot of cash and they have that cash on hand. And there's different things that they can do with that cash, right? They can invest in their own infrastructure. They can invest in their own employees. They could buy their stock back. They can buy other companies. But right now, not knowing what interest rates are going to, you know, what's going to happen with interest rates and what's going to happen with tariffs, I think they're looking at it as a point where let's just kind of take a hold back on spending and see what how things will unload down the down the road and then as you get towards the end of the year they fall into like somewhat of a tax situation where they have this cash on hand that they probably have to spend some of that cash then we start to see some M&A activity we start to see some uh, company buybacks increase so we'll, we'll start to see that activity okay so it can be it can be cyclical as well uh, speaking of tariffs I know you've been a proponent of Apple however um, the sell ratings have been active with them for 2019 are you still a supporter of Apple Jonathan. Absolutely. I think those sell ratings are coming from uh, from two different two different areas. One is, you know, you, you want to be think outside the box, right? You want to be contrarian. It's so easy to put a buy rating on Apple considering the, the tentacles that they have in the technology world. And I also think the other side to it is tariffs, clearly. What's going to happen? How's it going to affect Apple? How's it going to affect their suppliers? How does that trickle down to investors and to the users? That uncertainty there would certainly add to uh, some, some pressure in that area. I had to ask you, and Jonathan, it looks like we have a lot of fans here. There's something happening here right now. One more question, Jonathan, since why not ask it right now? Trading activity has been super concentrated, like the last half hour of trading. Any reason behind that? Yeah, I think, you know, what's happening uh, in these slower sessions is that the openings and the closings have continued to be very important. And I think investors wait throughout the day uh, to see how stocks are going to move and how the market's going to move. And they make their last bets at the end of the day. So we're going to continue to see that activity, especially during the slow summer months. Yeah, exactly. But for some reason, it's picking up right now. I think we just have a lot of fans, John. We've got a stock right next to it that's halted on uh, on some news, so this is going to unfold right here in front of us. All right. Well, we're going to check it out. In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in with Jonathan and I. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you.